Are you at an airport, Charlie? No, I'm sitting outside on campus at Georgetown. Sorry. Okay. No worries. I'll uh, make sure that I mute when an airplane goes overhead. Is, uh, are those flights from Reagan? Or... I don't know. Or is that Dulles on that side? That's all Reagan. Yeah, that's right. scenario button yet because I just want to make sure we get everybody stable in there and we choose whether we want to do the two player one or whether we want to cook it up and that's the three player one. Connecting to it. It was Charlie, but I don't know if he's still there. <laughs> you might have... Hey, Charlie. Um, I'm here, but do you guys ever have trouble with just running the tabletop simulator? No. It's uh, it's it's not responding. Are you on a Mac or something? Yeah, I am. Okay. It can be a little finicky on the Mac side, but like it works. Alright. If you're having trouble starting it, just uh, uh, close it out and restart the game. This will happen from time to time with TTS. It's It's a good system, but it is not without its quirks. All right, restarting it now. So I've picked uh, scenario two, which is the fight against the Islamic State. Um, it allows for three players. I assume you all kind of want your own independent player. I was originally going to do scenario one, but it's not. seems to not be working still. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work for me, unfortunately. That's okay. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can just stream it to the... Give me a second. I haven't done this in a while. streaming my tabletop to the discord channel so if you if you click on oh yeah i can i can see it now okay so yeah we'll do it what i'll do is i'll just do i'll do some moves for you it's okay we're gonna go real slow anyway so this isn't this isn't too bad hopefully i have enough bandwidth but, but i'm pretty close to my router so uh, should be okay all right now 
we're going to do a three player setup. This is scenario two. Um, I can't remember who came in. For, I think uh, Jacob. I can't remember who uh, who I sent the screenshots to for this one. Um, uh, that was me. Yep. I don't know if you pick, I don't know if you put up the scenario two or not, but um, <clears throat> all right. So overall, this uh, scenario simulates the civil war in Syria and the struggle against IS at its maximum extension from the summer of 2014, uh, the fall of Mosul and Raqqa, to summer 2015, and the first defeats suffered by the self-proclaimed caliphate, the IS. Uh, there are three players. Uh, the first player is Syria. Uh, the second player is the Syrian rebels, and the third player is Iraq. Um, let's see, setup wise, it should be relatively obvious, but the Syrian player controls not only those markers that say Syria on them, but they also control the Lebanese Hezbollah, as well as the Syrian Joker. Who would like to play Syria? Uh, I'll do it. Okay, Bohansky. Let's. Then where are your colors? You want to be? Let me put you on. So in effect, the, the module will put you into a position that has your units basically kind of properly faced up, if you will, right? So you should mm -hmm. see, um, yeah, you have control of these Hezbollah units. You have control of your, obvi obviously, the ones that say Syria on them. Let's see what else yeah. you have here. Um, Do you have the Shia militias too? You do not control that. You control just the uh, Lebanese Hezbollah. Okay. And let's get your Syrian Joker, which is this one right here. And I'll tell you what that does later. Uh, so you probably just want to put this uh, just in front of you over here or whatever. Uh, playing, uh, just for just a quick rule update, uh, playing the Joker basically lets you pull two new cards into your hand and disregarding the maximum of four in your hand okay you don't have you don't have your cards yet um right. so it kind of lets you it's basically just a quick boost and you kind of it's like a, it's like a joker's wild situation in, in any game it kind of just gives you a nice quick boost at some point at some low point or high, or high point whichever however you want to okay. use it all right so any questions about who you're controlling uh, able to potentially here, here, raise here. the volume of your microphone. Is that mine? Mine's low. Yeah, it's just a little bit hard to hear. Hold on. I usually have the opposite complaint. Yeah, I'm really high. I'm, I'm at like, <clears throat> is that better? Can you hear me okay now? Yeah, that's better. Let me just kind of reposition this a little bit better. How about that? <clears throat> okay, so I think we have player one set up. Player two uh, will be controlling, he, they are known as the rebel player, if you will. Uh, they control the Free Syrian Army, FSA, the Sunni and Al-Sham militias, the Free Iraqi Army, FIA, if applicable, and the Turkish Joker. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, I'll take our, I'll, I'll take the Syrian militias in Iraq, I guess. Okay, so that would be...
what color uh, should I take control of? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hold on. I think it's this one right here. The green? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because the tables all have, uh, the spots each have a flag in front of it. Like, technically I'm actually on the Israeli spot, but Oops. whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put you over one. Here, I can, I can correct that. Hold on. Well, the Iraqi flag's here, uh, but I control Iraq and the Syrian militias, correct? The Iraqis are a third player. The Iraqis okay. are a third um, player. Good. So do you see all your troops appropriately? Let's take a good look here to make sure. These are the Kurds, right? Uh, the KDP, yeah. 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 Who controls those? That is what I'm trying to find. Something is not quite right with this. Is it me? It's not right. Iraq looks fine. There's something not quite right. Huh. It's possible the Kurds are um, oh, all, like an NPC they're thing. All in, um, they're all over here. You see these right here? Mm -hmm. uh, they're all in your reinforcement batches. So let's go. Oh, the Free Syrian Army units? Yeah, but so that's kind of weird. I didn't realize that they would be set up that way. Give me a second. Let me move these guys real quick. So do you have anybody in Dura? Where is Dura here? So according to this, uh, you have three Sunni militias in Dura. Where is Dura? Oh, there it is right here. Okay, you're starting. These are yours right here. You have these in Dra, you have these in Kunitra. Uh, what else is out? You have these Sunni in Hama. Basically, everybody that's upright there, PYD. Uh, so anything that is not Hezbollah, Syrian army, or uh, ISIS in this region, basically. Correct. Now, I'm checking if you have the PYD. I think you um, have under, the, uh, under the victory conditions, it says spaces controlled by the Kurds or IS are not counted for either player. So I have a feeling the Kurds are like an NPC thing. Yes, and they get, um, they get activated as the... Uh, there's a card that activates them. You are correct, sir. Now, where these... I need to look up the FIA and FSA. So I wasn't prepared for that. I apologize. Oops. See, I don't understand. Also have Aleppo. Uh, 
Okay. This. Okay, so this, these, uh, these Turkish replacements, they come into effect if you use card 74 played as an event, okay? If you happen to get that card. Uh, okay. Alright, this, which one is that? That's the Alsham. The Alsham Militia and the... So the FSA mechanized division four six four. That's this right here. This is your first batch reinforcement. Al Sham and FSA. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they have these batched over here. I think this is just for replacement sake. Okay. Free Syrian, Free Syrian army and FIA in the event of a coup d'état in Syria and Iraq. Let's go look up coup d'état. I think it's a card event. Give me one second. I think we do need to understand this. And yeah, I apologize because I did not know how many people we were going to have. Coup d'etat. It's alright, I'm still skimming the rulebook myself. Alright, I'm looking at section 23. Coup d'etat. Uh, may occur if in Iraq or in Syria, either during the setup of certain scenarios or by play, one of two relevant event cards. The player cannot play a coup during turn three. As soon as the card is played, the international tension rises by blah blah blah. Okay. This is all by cards, okay? A For this scenario, uh, if a player plays card 67 during scenarios 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, blah, 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 a coup d'etat takes place in Syria. Read the card for context. The Syrian player rolls a die for each unit that has to test its loyalty. The unit joins the rebellion, the unit is eliminated, or the unit remains loyal. When several units in the same space join s different camps, the one with the highest de defense value keeps control of the space, blah, 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 blah. Units eliminated, blah, blah, blah. Let me see what All right, let's just see. I hope the card explains it better as we get to it. Mm -hmm. But at least as far as your reinforcement batch, you only have these two right here, okay? Okay. And as you can see here, these are kind of sticky, as I was saying before. Mm -hmm. Kind of hop into place. All right, so that's... You feel comfortable with what's yours... And what's not, uh, more importantly? Uh, just double checking. So I have these militias here. Uh, Correct. these here. Correct. And nothing over here? Nothing. Correct. And then these Kurdish forces are, are NPCs, kind of neutral, I believe. And they're controlled by cards. And what you do is basically use the neutrals to kind of mess each other up. <laughs> right? In Perfect. A beneficial way. <laughs> it's a fun. It's a fun game because of this, right? Um, yeah, bait, bait the FSA into attacking uh, IS. Yeah, temporarily or otherwise, you're making you know covert deals to uh, to mess with your opponents. Basically, mm -hmm. uh, advanced Uno. Um, mm -hmm. Also, IS is controlled similarly, right? There are some cards that um, basically give you control f for those forces for basically your turn or your phase. Okay? Interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it'll make more sense as we go through. All right, mm -hmm. so player two, you are set up. Let us look at Iraq. I think that that's pretty straightforward, though. In Iraq's case, they are basically just the Iraq forces. But let's look at their batches. This is the let weird one for me. Uh, Why are these flip point guys? Let me um, let me look at uh, Iraq's um... Shia militias. Yeah. Oh, those are reinforcements. That is a batch. Second batch. Okay, the first batch of reinforcements for Iraq, uh, Iraqi force, uh, one batch, the first batch, one by Iranian Hezbollah militia. Uh, where is that? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here it is right here. 
and then three Shia. Okay, so this is your first batch of reinforcements. This is just kind of stacked oddly. And we will um, move that for the third player. I can't remember your name, sorry. Oh, Charlie. All right. All right. Uh, and this is the second batch. Let's just make sure that that's right. Iranian Al Qud IRG Div. Yeah, the Al Qud division. All right, so that's proper. Just want to make sure everything's set up right. So replacements are basically um, when you get a there's a replacement card in effect, right? And what the card will explain it. But you can either use you can use the um, as you as your units uh, are taken off the map, they're they're placed over here. Um, into replacement pool, and you can you can basically re-up somebody. You can refresh somebody. Like when you for, like, for example, right here, if I'm right here, if they take a step of uh, uh, damage, right, then you flip them, right. So you, you, saw, you see how each one has a separate uh, power level, combat value. Yeah, it's a step loss system similar yeah, to next one. Very simple. Uh, and if you ever if you ever question which one you're on, is that you see the light the lighter stripe behind the unit marker. You see how there's like a lighter stripe there that kind of helps you mm -hmm. determine which side you're on. So I think I think we're good. So for Iraq you have these units here, here, here. You have, you have a pretty good amount of units. Alright, so now let's talk about the scenario goals because this is going to be important for you of course. Victory conditions for the Syrian player. Player one. They hold the initiative. They are supported by Russia and Iran. Uh, prerequisite for victory is control of Damascus, Tardis, Latakia, and Aleppo. Let's go look at. I don't know if you can see all four of those. You want me to repeat that at all? For one, you? two. Uh, Damascus is over here. Oops. Three, so base, and then Aleppo yeah, right is there. The it's an objective area. You see how uh, see how on the uh, map it says objective area. It's a victory point for that area. So you yep. basically don't want to lose those that region. Okay. Got it. At least towards uh, as we check victory conditions each turn. All right. Otherwise, for a minor victory, uh, Syria needs to control thirteen spaces in Syria. So the primary player. Primary Syria or loyalist Syria has to have 13 spaces for a minor. Uh, major victory is eliminating all rebel units and control of 15 spaces. Uh, and I'll, and we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll bring these victory conditions out as we go. Um, <laughs> decisive victory is eliminating all rebel and IS units and controlling 18 spaces in Syria. All right. Okay. I also have the sheet. I'm the one who has the sheet, okay. so, yeah. Player two, the rebel. Uh, Assad are... must go. I'm sorry? I just said Assad must go. There you go. <laughs> Making a joke. Ah, <laughs> uh, Syrian humor. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you are supported by Turkey, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh minor victory if you control six spaces in Syria. How many do you control at the start? Let's see. You are in... One, two... Okay. You almost have that at the start, right? You got one, two, three, four, five to start with. That's true, but anywhere... Uh... Anywhere I could move is a pretty significant uphill battle. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so, uh, and then of course major victory is uh, controlling seven spaces in Syria, including either Aleppo or Damascus. So that's going to be interesting. Um, have fun with that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm rooting for you. Uh, all right. Uh, a decisive victory would have been control of eight spaces in Syria, including both Aleppo and Damascus. That's going to be quite difficult. All right. Uh, the Iraqi player, player three, 
uh, you are supported by the International Coalition and Iran. So that's interesting. Uh, control of Basra, Najaf, Karbala, and Baghdad. Um, basically, you don't want to lose control of your home uh, cities and objectives. Uh, minor victory if you control 18 spaces in Iraq. Uh, major victory if you control 21 spaces in Iraq, including Fallujah. Uh, decisive if you control 24 spaces in Iraq, including Fallujah and Mosul. All right, so interesting objectives for everybody. So the Iraqi adversary is primarily ISIL. Is that IS and let's see. Anybody who's otherwise going against your goal, right? Um, so, yeah, mostly yes. Let's see who else you got here. And any other rebels. And uh, Kurds as well, right? Potentially. So if anybody starts taking care, uh, taking control of Kurds or, or the IS, they're in your way. Who else do we have here? Here's your Shia. Who else is in control of Shias at the Rebels? My immediate reaction is that it's under my control. It's under your but control. That's... That's, that's so weird, though. Sorry, what is under uh, Syrian army control? Yeah, I'm um... Like... No, in this, yeah, in this yeah. scenario, let, let's be you know, let's be straight. That uh, it's um, it's very scenario based here, of course. Uh, so in this in this scenario, mm. Iraqi player controls the Shia militias, and okay. the Iranian Hezbollah, gotcha. and the okay. Al Quds IRG division. Okay. Okay. You also the Iraqi player gets the Iraq Joker. FSA does not have a Joker card, correct? I am checking that. You get the Turkish Joker. Interesting. Which, if you can find it over here, you yeah, I'll look for it. it. Uh, oh, here it is. an interesting scenario because like I, again I think I should have asked from the get go but what's the play time for a game like this in this scenario well the duration is six turns um, which connotates a year. Uh, each turn is two months. Uh, okay. Generally, just as far as real-time playtime? Yeah. Uh, we'll try to keep this at like two hours. Um, we can go beyond that if everybody's having fun and we're making strides or if it's quite obvious mm -hmm. somebody's you know in trouble or not. Okay. Does that sound about right to everybody? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I might have to drop out a little bit early is that That's a fine. huge issue no i can take control of it i'm moving them anyway so it's, it's okay all right that is fine and i'm trying to determine okay all right so each of you should have a uh cheat sheet in front of you basically uh mm -hmm. that gives you the sequence of play uh before we start play, before turn one, what we would normally do is we would go through all of the cards and pick four. Um, we can do that if you want. It's going to take just a little bit of time, depending on how, how long people read it. Uh, I would be okay with that if you want to do that, uh, or we can just do it randomly. All, all of the other turns when you re-up your cards to four cards, your hand is normally four. You bring yourself up to four. Okay. Um, okay. 
normally you just randomly pick uh, cards. So these high international tension cards don't come into play until the inter international tension meter gets to a certain point. That's at five. Um, there are some points during the international tension track where you players receive automatically next batch of reinforcements. It's pretty clear on the track down here. Let's see if I can get my little arrow thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Turn tracks. There are such there are specific turns where you reshuffle all the cards. I think that's just to kind of maintain uh, dynamics to the deck. Uh, I, I tend to reshuffle them whenever. It's just not that big a deal. I, I, I kind of shuffle it even more than that. Um, so, at this point, what I suggest we do, just because this is kind of a learning game, is mm -hmm. I was going to give everybody two assets, give everybody two events. If for some reason you get one that you absolutely cannot play, then we'll replace it. And we'll go from there just to kind of speed up play a little bit. Yeah. So, I figure we won't know what each one does yet. So, yeah, we're, we're this gonna, will work. I mean, an another thing to consider is we could play, we could play, uh, well, the people watching uh, on YouTube will see all the cards no matter what. But if you want to play just fully open, I'm cool with that too. We can kind of pull the cards onto the onto your areas and we can just kind of just play it open. Uh, I think it's probably the best way to do it the first time. All right, so I'm going to deal an asset card to everybody, and hopefully that will send one to all the players. Just tell me if you got one, tell me if you didn't. Got one. Okay, I think we need one for the, I think I need to take the rock position. I got one as well. Let us, I'm going to give everybody another asset, okay? So you each should have two. Right. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to play two events towards everybody. Let's do one. Okay, you should have three cards now. Looks like everybody does. <laughs> Just kind of, there are certain cards that cannot be played on turn one. Uh, I have a card that is only capable of being played by IS or Kurds. Should I return this? No. Okay. Because that gives you control of them. Okay. Do you understand? That basically, uh, yeah. it, if you read it, as a matter of fact, are you able to flip your cards? I'm, I'm wondering if. Hmm. I can flip it's them, the... but I don't know. Are you if able I to just put your cards out right here where it says Kraken? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Let's, everybody, everybody, just kind of reveal your hands. We're gonna, we're gonna play this open. Okay. Normally, obviously, we wouldn't do this. Okay. All right. So now let's give. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that card just to make sure it's not, uh, you know, a card you absolutely can't play. Yeah. Um. But let me give everybody one more event. <laughs> uh. I think we all got the same cards. Possible. No. The first three. Yeah, the well, uh, Jacob and I got the first same first three cards, which is interesting. Yeah. Leadership, truck bombing, and there's not strikes. like a it, it's, there's not a huge amount of difference in cards. I mean, no, I'm saying okay. like you know that that probability is actually pretty pretty high. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I was wondering if it like we forgot to shuffle or something, but. Maybe it's just a fluke chance. It's a very interesting fluke, considering uh, the the starting positions of FSA and uh, SAA I control. Yeah, I think a lot of these won't come into play unless there's a coup. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. And so there's your batches. I'm just wondering. If they cannot leave played on turn one cards. Is that a problem? Um, no. 
but the okay. problem, another thing to to realize is you have to you have to play the cards to effect to get rid of them. So unfortunately, that's holding. I have one as well over here for a, for a rock. Um, they they have a humanitarian truce one, which they just can't play right away. You just hold it in your hand. If you can't play, you got to hold it in your hand. Got it. I don't see I don't see any out that you absolutely cannot play now. The this truck bombing attack. Okay. Unf yeah, you're. Right. I mean, you're right. You can't play it now, mm -hmm. but there are cards for you to have control over IS and Kurds. Unfortunately, this is going to take a slot until. Um, it's going to take a slot until you can use it. Unfortunately. That's fine. So, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have a card I wasn't supposed yeah. to. No, you're good. Um, that's that. Let us look at the turn order again. We go in sequence, so the Syrian player will be player one. Uh, the active player, you are now the active player, okay? Uh, you play one, several, or no cards. Uh, you place, uh, you place the reinforcements in change on a second okay that's you don't get that right now though the, you can exchange one of his cards okay give me a second That would be when you replace when you place your reinforcements that you got by card play. There's a card for just a card for replacements and reinforcement. Okay, um, let me go that. Yeah, every time a, every time the active player plays a reinforcements card during his events segment, he immediately draws a replacement card and has the choice between either receiving a batch of reinforcements or taking replacements. Uh, and that happens during that same part. That was a little confusing, sorry. All right, um, so if you have a card that you want to play, you can. So this is for effects or for, I think there's an operations point there? Yes, you can, do that's, that's for, uh, that's during the planning stage. Right now you're doing events basically. So you're, you're playing one, one or several event cards. Do you have any event cards that you wanted to play right away? Unless it's telling you it. can't. Um, I'll hold off for now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you could have done airstrikes, I guess. If you wanted. Yeah, I, I could have, but okay. I don't know how it works yet, so I'll hold off on Sorry. that. That yeah. seems like a good card. Uh, yeah, Indeed. exactly. You might want to use it in a more opportune time. That's fine. All right. Um, so no more events for you, right? Uh, now we check supply yep. lines for supply for every unit for um, of all players. Place and okay. So during this, so we actually check everybody just to be sure. Um, let's see. For Syria, I think it's pretty obvious. I think you have to have a. You have to have a. On a contiguous line of sight to any supply space, and I think are there supply areas marked over here? Supply sources are you see right here on the map? Yeah, so, one's in Damascus. Yeah, there's one in Tardis. I assume what this one has it. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. You just basically have to like each unit has to be checked though. Uh, just just kind of be. Uh, I'll be pretty. Um, Everything is uh, all connected fine. together. I think if they were out of supply, then there is an isolated marker here. You see that? See, this is this is yes. a, this is a instance of an isolated unit. They've been surrounded by ice. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so as Bola doesn't have isolation, does it? Um, no, 
because it's the Iraqi Hezbollah. I think it should okay. be like that. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, that's the Iranian Hezbollah. Well, I control the Iranians. Oh, Lebanese Hezbollah. Okay, never mind. learn every day i didn't realize there was a variety of that right <laughs> so that's, that that's uh, that actually was the original design goal of this game by the way um by the end of the game you're supposed to understand the dynamics of the, of the region all right so we have done and this will speed up y'all sorry it's taking so long Just oh you're fine into it all right so planning wise this is where you can expend your cards for ops points okay um So if each card is yeah, you can worth expend, double and you can, you can basically use one or two of your cards, and you will basically get the op points in the corner of the card. So let's just take a look at your hand real quick. We'll kind of do this open. So if for some reason you wanted to, some reason you just, if there's something you don't want as well. So like, for example, you had over here, you had the card where, you couldn't use it yet, right? You could just expend it for its ops points, and then you'll get the points in the corner. So if there's something that if there's something that requires another card, and you don't think you're gonna get it for a while, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you might want to expend it for the. You also you also really only want to expend them if you have something to do, right? <laughs> um, yeah. There is an option to get by default. Basically, you can get two movement two units can move and one there can be one ground operation okay and a ground operation basically is an attack okay so that can be free if if you don't if you don't expend your card during this planning phase to get ops points you can get that free b mode right okay so if there was a couple if there was a lot of juicy things you wanted to do and you didn't really need to move a lot, and you didn't really plan to attack, then you would hold your cards and use them for the, the advance, you know? Okay. The mm -hmm. interesting thing about that is you have to plan, you have to do your events first, which is kind of neat. So you kind of have to think three-dimensionally there a little bit. All right, so okay. do you want to expend any of your cards for the ops points? So you said I got two free movements, one free attack, right? Correct. And, uh, and then ops and points, then, give me a second, I gotta get the, uh, when you expend it, the ops points. So, you split it up between movement and defensive, the ops points. Yeah, planning, and I just wanted to see how many you get. You get... Two... Besides how many cards he wishes to play. Then decides how many ops he wants to choose. Okay. F during your movement phase, a player may move twice as many units, not stacks, as he has allocated OPs. So, for example, if you've allocated four OPs to movement, then you'll get twice that amount in, in uh, uh, basically contiguous contiguous space movement. Okay. And then operations, and then, hold on a second, for each offensive. Okay, a player may launch as many offenses, offenses as he has allocated OPs to combat, okay? So you basically, you, you, you expend a card to get the OP points, and then for every OP, and then you split those points to movement and operation, okay? Usually you just split it in two. Like, for example, let's just say you spent this terrorist bombing attack card for its OPs. You get four OPs. You would probably put two to movement, and you can move four individual uh, counters, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you take the other two points, and you can attack twice. You can re-attack with the same units. The operational points can be reused by units if you have enough combat strength to do so. 
these are two okay, month turns. Just keep in mind that these are two month turns. So these are like these are literally operations. It's not just like individual fights. It's a it's an amalgamation of several fights over two months. Okay. okay. Everybody and understand then there's... that part? Yep. You want any help or suggestion? We can kind of play this pretty open here if you want. Uh, where are you going here? Where okay, are you thinking? So... What are you thinking? Just tell me what you think. So I want to start um, dealing with problems, basically. And I think long-term goal is to take Aleppo. Um, and then I don't, I don't know how far I can stretch myself here, but uh, crushing this would be nice so I don't have to worry about my back. And then eventually like rolling around into the IS held areas would be nice, but um, it's rather open there. If that makes sense, like I don't have very high densities of counters. So um, basically this is the primary and then the other two are just like nice to have secondaries. So I was thinking that um, I use this card and then I use it definitely to attack with this one. And then potentially move something over here into Palma Palmyra, are you, and uh, get ready for for a feature one. The, are you expending this for the off one? For the ops points. The there op you go. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the one thing I don't know: do they have like ops points markers here? I don't see any. Do you? I don't. I didn't see any. I kind of kind of be nice to. Whatever. It's not that big a deal. Uh, all right. So. Are you splitting your ops points two and two? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that part. Okay, let me see. You're, you're, all, you're allocating ops points to movements, and then you're allocating ops points to subsequent battles if you need them. Okay. If, if you just need to move a bunch of units, you can put all four of it to movement, and that would give you like eight units to move if you really wanted to move some stuff, if you really wanted to huff. I don't think I really need to, but okay. um, my, my question is how far can stuff move? Uh, it is the f the third number on your marker. So okay. let's take a look at one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So okay, let's let's review that too. Um, let's look at this ninth ninth division for Syria here. Um, it's offensive power is seven, defensive power is six, and then its movement is four. The red four on certain armored units means that they can do breakthrough moves. Okay. That means that once they do their attack. They can actually break off and go beyond if successful. You can basically like okay. if you if you were to like attack here, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have to necessarily retreat backwards. You can kind of almost retreat sideways or forward because of your, your yeah. breakthrough capability. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll address that once you become successful at something. Um, okay. okay. So in this try. in this case, I'll be going two and two. So, um, okay, there is a stack limit too. I just want to just before you start doing it, um, you can have up to three units in a location, um, and you can only have one core as one of those three units. And the, the only, uh, the only coalition that has that, the only side that has that is Turkey has core size units, okay? And so, okay. in other words, if Turkey had three units and only one of those could be a core. All right. Um, other than that, uh, ISIS ha can stack four. Okay. They 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 can they have that special power if you want. Got it. Cool. Um, that's it. Let me just check stacking real quick before we make any mistakes on that. Because I think there's one other there's one other rebel that can do that. Give me just want to make sure that they get their fair share. Stacking, stacking, stacking. Where are you stacking? Stacking, stacking, stacking. You can never find what you want to find when you're looking for it. <clears throat> oh, there it is right there. Uh,
Oh, yeah. The reason that IS, the reason the ISIS can units can stack to four is because they only have one step anyway, right? So that they they have they have the ability to logistically to be a larger number of them in the square. Okay. What are you trying to do now? You you you've done all your moves. Not yet. I haven't okay. started moving yet. Um, so I got two and two on uh, movement in ox or on uh, in combat. So I'm going to move these two serene divisions into Palmera. Um, and then, actually, I miscounted that this. I thought you needed two per unit, huh? Or, uh, yeah. Two or one per unit. It's, so it's one for two. So that'll be one movement. Three combat then. Excuse me. So that's my one movement. Okay, hold on, hold on one second. How many? Um, hold on. The the for each op spent, you can move two single pieces. Correct. So okay. So I just want to make sure you get that. Okay. It's not like yep. by stack. Okay. Yep. Yep. So yeah, I only need to move the two over here because that's stacking limit. So I'll have three combats this turn then. Okay. Oh, uh, because yeah. So, the first one I'm going to do is I will try to take this, and then this combat is by staff, correct? Yes, exactly. You add up okay. the you add up the offensive numbers, the first number, uh, and then they add up their second number together, um, and then you got to look on the square to see if there's any like natural defense. Um, like this one has natural, you see how there's a negative one on some of these? Yes. Those have like a natural defense factor. So it's okay. one against you and one, one benefit to their defense and one negative to your attack. <clears throat> or excuse me, it's just, it's the attack. That, that okay. okay. Got it. So yeah, this stack over here is going to attack, uh, Jacob's <laughs> militia. <laughs> Oh no! How many you got? You got th he's got two, two, two. I think. So he's got six defense total. And then what is I've your total attack? Nine. Also, just to clarify, on the counters from left to right, it's attack, defense, and what's the third number? Movement. Movement. Cool. And if the movement is red, there's you can do like a breakthrough move, which we'll we'll talk about once we try to do it. Excellent. Um. So you're better better by three right no what well, we also want to do three. We, we want to check all the other column shifts quick question while we're checking that so uh i know johan and myself both have the leadership card uh which uh call, causes column shifts in yeah. combat you know uh would i be able to play that during this yes. combat or would i have to wait okay uh it's which card is it again over here? Where? Uh, leadership. It should help you defensively. To it does. Yeah, yep, uh, it does. See, how, see how it says attack or defense? Yeah. Yeah, it's so usually... I could play that now if I want. Yes, absolutely. I guess I would like to play that now. <laughs> yep. So we're not going back and forth. So, we're trying to calculate odds. Yeah, I'm going to play mine too. When's the appropriate time to play the events for combat? Or the, the assets for combat? Let's see if it mentions it. I mean, I think you'd probably. I think what you would probably do is keep it face down until we until we compute. You know what I'm saying? So that mm -hmm. so yeah, we wouldn't okay. know if he's using it or not. You know what I'm saying? You don't, first of all, you don't know what's in his hand, right? Normally, and then yep. I was. I let, let's just see if it says anything. Give me a second. Combat, 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 combat resolution. Da -da -da -da. The attack, the active player adds. The Attack strength of all units, the difference, blah blah blah. Initial column is modified by several factors. Assets during an offensive, both players can use asset cards. The defender announces first which access asset card he intends to play. So there is a there is an order of that. So that's interesting. So the okay. defender kind of has to play theirs first, and then you would put yours down, which is exactly what you just did, right? Then the yeah. attacker yeah. announces any of his own cards he's committing. The asset cards are sufficiently self-explanatory 
to understand their impact and conditions of use. The effect of most cards is for shift, and it's usually for a single offense only. The player cannot play two identical cards during the same offensive. That's interesting. I hadn't read that before. A player... Okay, so that's something cool to know. Okay. During the same offensive. Now, if you did a subsequent offensive, like with another OP spent, you could probably, you could do it again, right? You know what I'm saying? You just can't, you can't, you can't play multiple of the same type in the same offensive action. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, uh, okay. but basically, that nullifies each other, right? Uh, so yeah. you're, still yes. on a, you're still on basically a, pu- a plus three shift. What we want to do, if you look down at the column shifts on your chart here. We're actually at plus two because of the terrain. See that? Where is that? For the defense? Oh, I yes. see that. Thank That's you a negative for being one. honest about that. Okay, very good. All right. Um, let's just make sure we're not f- missing anything. Uh, the space is intrinsic defense value, which is what we just did. Uh, entrenchment, mm. which is, uh, uh, I think, combat engineers allows you to do entrenchment, which is cool. Uh, Next. Asset cards, which is basically what you just did, but you nullified each other, and then isolation. So this is a key to know. This is a, this this isolation rule is a, is kind of a key to victory, if you will, because mm-hmm. if you can if you can isolate them enough, then you're gonna column shift them pretty much you know right away. So in addition to anything else, so that's pretty cool. Uh, international tension. We're not doing that. So where are we at? Where do we finally lie? We're at plus two. Yep, this right here. All Right, then the attacker rolls the d6, which is over here. You can use the nifty dice tower, or you can just put your mouse over and R, R, hit R a few times over it. Is that you right there? Two. two. All right, let's see what we got. Unfortunate. Two on the two column. Uh, attacker retreat. There you go. Attacker, no, attacker repulse. So I t- take a step loss for everything. Oh, ooh. On one of its units. On one? Yeah. Uh... It's the AR with an asterisk. That's really bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you had an attacker repulsed. Uh, the attacking okay. force loses one step from one of its units, and the whole stack withdraws to its original, original space. Yeah, so, so um, the militia. Yeah, the, <laughs> the militia, obviously, here. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of like a, a repulsed attack. But uh, yeah. it's, again, yep. it's like a sequence of attacks. So you had several attacks, blah, blah, blah. Chamba, boom. Okay. That's if that. that. If you have other ops points, you can try again. Come from somewhere uh, else. Uh, I do. I, I have two more. But let's see. Um. So, how does the IS units work? Like when you cards. go into combat with them? It's basically no, it when, the card. Oh, okay. uh, when you, um, it's usually I think four, four pieces get activated by you as the active player. The card will explain it pretty. Pretty, pretty straight forward. Um, you know, a certain number of units will activate, and then um, I think the leader might even come in from there. There are certain. I think there's two or three different varieties of it. The leader can be pulled out if he if he's in this if he's in this pool. He he can be like automatically placed on the attack. Sometimes sometimes he's like hey he comes out of hiding and helps. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically these guys are neutrals, but they're they're played by the other players. By cards, and okay. so are the cards. Unless, One unless, unless explicitly, you know, unless explicitly in a scenario the cards are under control of somebody, then they are also the equivalent, right? So, the Iraqi player. I think we were kind of questioning who the hell, who's the Iraqi enemy? Was the cards in the IS, right? And then, but equally, Iraq can use. Um, you know, he they would the Iraq would use IS to fight the cards. Right to get them yep. out of Iraq, if they've incurred, made an incursion. I don't think they have here. Have they? Good question: uh, Where do the Joker tokens come into play then? You can play that, that at any time you want, and that automatically pulls in two cards. Oh, excellent! Uh, there are things called special Jokers, which are basically um, like a, assault initiatives, uh, usually. Um, it's very scenario, it's scenario based, and it's usually like a major attack that it's basically a planned major offensive type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't this scenario doesn't have special jokers. <clears throat> uh, now that Yohan and I have spent our cards, where's the discard pile? 
Uh, that would be on this played, and you probably put you want to put this one over here. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so. I want to look up. So when I attack one, sure. if I attack one of IS spaces. Yeah. Um. You, you basically might. Well, want to, so let's talk about why you would do that. Um, you know, you don't want IS in your back. Uh, because the at any time your the other player could make a, a pact with them to attack you, right? So mm. there's they're basically a thorn in your side, literally. Okay. Well, Peter, um, um, you can push them away. They're okay. Mechanically, Sorry. how does that work though? Because there's no attack defense on them. Um, you flip it. Oh, okay. I don't tell that's, you. That's the one interesting thing about ISIS too is they're kind of they're 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 very guerrilla oriented, so they're kind of you don't know you don't necessarily know the, the power of that unit. So that's Got their it. advantage is that they can pop up in strength anywhere, uh, and you're yes. not really prepared for it. And you can't predict them very well. Yes, and there's a reasonable amount of replacement. Well, what happens is when when the card is played, you actually play a certain number of reinforcements into wherever you want any okay. any existing we'll read it we'll read the rule again just to be sure but I think the card explains it too you activate mm -hmm. like several from the pool and you add it to that area so it's just like just like he was saying it's like a big upstart of it in, in a certain area it's kind of neat <laughs> oh that is cool yeah it's an interesting mechanic okay Peter I'm so sorry to drop out so soon but um, would you be able to take over my yeah. position? That's, yeah, that's fine. All right. Thank you, you so least, much. I hope you got enough. Uh, left, uh, just watch the video later too, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, maybe, I definitely uh, will. You know, maybe sometime later after we're all kind of more comfortable with it, we can play a full a for reals match. So. Awesome. Yeah, it's a great game. All right. All right. Yeah. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. People are probably staring at him on campus. That's why. <laughs> I heard yelling in the background uh, before he left, so something's up. <laughs> okay, so in this case, I'm going to attack with this stack into the IS counter maker. Okay, so let's flip that. Two. So this is 14, 17 against two. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Any other? Let's see if there's any other intrinsic values here. No. I mean, you're basically brushing them aside, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. What, um, do you, what do you get let me ultimately? Take, yeah, I'll, I'll take my roll, but it's going to be on the second to the right column because 17. I just need like one more, and then it would have been like the full like. So let's see how bad you mess this up. <laughs> I'm waiting for a oh, one. God. Of course, it's the one. He rolled a one. This it's still probably it's still probably a repulse. Yeah. Uh, you get? Exchange. So oh, really. <laughs> uh, let's see. Both attacker defender lose one step. The defender's limit. Attacker occupies the space with all engaged units. You okay. Get, so you lose a step, but you take it, and then the IS unit okay. goes into the pool. Yep. So that's so has Bolo's gone. And what I'll do is I'll. So that was that. Do you have any ops points left? For yep, I have one more attack. Okay. So, last attack. It's going to go right here. Okay. So that will be... What's that? 7 plus 5 plus 2. So that's 14 against 4. So that's plus 8. Okay. So it's on so this column right here. Does he have any... He doesn't have any... Mm. No. It's going to be on the 8 right here. Does he and just to clarify... To play as well, first of all, before you start, the defender to clarify, is... we can only play asset cards uh, in combat or event cards as well. Um, if the event... How are you uh, playing this one? Um, no, I think 
It's only assets. Let me okay. just... Assets, yeah. So then event cards would be played at the beginning of a turn. The events cards are played at, during the events uh, phase, which is your first phase in your, in your phasing. Copy. In your active player phase. Is there an event Copy. that sounds like it supersedes that in any way at all? By any uh, none that I have. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I'm unaware of any that can be... There are certain cards that can be played at any time, and if it can be, then... I think it explicitly says it in red or something to that degree. Mm -hmm. okay. I okay. haven't played enough to see all of them. So, of yeah. course. Um, okay, go forward. Go forward. So, once again, it's on the eight. This column. I'll take my roll. Okay. What again? So. Having, uh, having some pretty bad luck today, huh? Yeah, that's just some really yeah. fine combat you got going. This is what I get for not using one, the dice one tower. Your, uh, one of your chemical chemical rounds uh, went off in your HQ or something. <laughs> Fell off yeah, the, yeah, okay. the, the way the, to the front. The, <laughs> the, the game punishes you for not using the dice tower. It's noted now. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably it. Actually, yeah, it might give you a little Maybe, or, or you can tell yourself okay. that if you want. All right, um... <laughs> it's all the mental game. <laughs> and is that all uh, your ops? Yeah, that's all my ops. So, what is strategic movement? Well, at this point, the active player may move a single supplied unit in a friendly controlled space to another friendly controlled and supplied space, no matter the number of contiguous friendly controlled spaces. So, now there's just like a mega movement. Okay. Um, but you can only do it with one supplied unit, so sure. It's kind of like a free express train across Syria, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. This, this I, I almost feel that that should be caveated to somebody who hasn't been actively in combat, but <clears throat> yeah. But well, I think naturally you're probably going to do that. I don't know of anybody who necessarily would have. I don't know. Man. You're 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 hitting the road. Maybe if you took a combat loss and you really don't want to use that, lose it, and you want to wait for potentially a replacement, you might jump in the truck and drive as fast as <laughs> you can, and keep on driving. You, you're a little aggressive in your retreat. Your super retreat. Yeah. It's so, nice. go ahead. Question. I, I move this. Move this over here as my strategic movement. Okay. So oh, um, quick. A, oh, that is a kind of unique rule set. Rule. I, I don't. I, I usually in most rules I've played, you know, most strategic moves like that are up to a certain point of like detection or something, right? But mm -hmm. you can do it at any time, so it's kind of neat. All right, go for uh, it. Uh, that's you... it. Uh, adjust cards. You, the active player, draws cards to regain four cards. If he already has more than four cards, he keeps them but may not draw any more cards. And that so... usually happens when you've played a joke. So this goes either event or assets, so like I can choose which one I want, right? At this point, you can choose either. Okay. So if you're in need so, of more of certain things, you might want to pick from certain things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, more often yeah. than not, if, if you've expended a lot of stuff, you probably want a reasonable... Oh, interesting. Oh, those are good draws. Were those right after each other? <laughs> yeah. Are you, well, this may or may not be shuffled. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I'm gonna... I, was, I was about I was about to say we could chalk that up to uh, learning from the last attacks failures. Okay, hold on. Gonna, I am gonna shuffle them. Okay, I'm just gonna do. Okay. Okay. Just that was feeling weird. Okay, that's all right. If you want, if you want to replace that, I'll let you replace that. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, these are fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they, like I said, learning from last attacks failures. Uh... But you can't play the same one in the same offensive. We'll say that too. That's fine. You can play a second offensive. All right, I think you are done. Now we are to uh, turn one of player two. Uh, am so I player two or is that Iraq? You, you are player two. Yep. Excellent. Uh, just uh, a quick question, real quick. Mm -hmm. um, in order for a territory to be considered under your control, do you need to have a unit? No. You. It's. Okay. It's like your home, especially 
at the game start, it's whoever passed through it last. Uh, okay. When, when you are in combat, when you're on in offensive, in when you're in an offensive, that is a contested space until you figure out who's still there. Um, Got it. Also, here's another thing: um, if somebody ends up being isolated, right? They become unisolated once, and once a unit that was not isolated comes into the same space, and they are in supply. So, for example, this guy's isolated here in the middle of nowhere, right? Does that mm. make sense? So, in other words, yep. in other words, not only do you have to reestablish the supply line, but somebody has to come up with supplies. That's kind of a neat rule. Got it. All right. <laughs> trying to trying to give you as many rules as possible as we're playing, as I'm. <laughs> Remembering that you might. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's all coming together pretty quick as well. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think we're speeding up. All right. All right. So keeping with the theme, uh, uh with uh, knowing my victory conditions, uh, commander's intent is to keep the SAA out of outside of Aleppo at all costs. Uh, attrit the SAA as much as possible to prevent them from attacking into my controlled territory and seize at least one more hex. All right. Knowing that, now, okay, so I... first phase. Let's do this right. Uh, yeah. Now you are the active player. Uh, yep. You get to play one, several, or no cards. Um, if you had, if you had any replacements that were, um, you know, from your previous turn, you would you would put them on the map now. Um, but mm -hmm. you don't have that, so that's fine. Right. Um, technically, you can actually make negotiations with another player and exchange cards. Mm -hmm. But I don't know really the situation where you would know enough about that person or care enough that you would do that. Alright. Yep, intentional uh, revelations, maybe. Uh, yes. Yes, if you know it's worth their while, you can start... You're working closely yeah. with them to screw someone else. Oh, yeah, exactly. The double Uno screw. Mm -hmm. Alright. Exactly. Um, so, I think my first move is going to be playing the Airstrikes card for its event. Okay. And then I would also like to play the truck bombing card for its uh, ops point. Okay. Well, this you would do there in planning, so just keep that in your hand. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, so right here, you're going to take your D6, uh, selects one space, and then rolls the one die for every unit in that space. So you probably mm -hmm. pick a juicy one. Yeah, I am going to attack Latakia. Okay. How many we got here? We're gonna go. Uh, let's do left to right here. We'll start with this unit. And using the dice tower. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> Nothing. All right. So no, effect, no effect on the armored unit. Okay. Now you get yeah. The here. All right. Uh, rolling again. Three, which is uh, reduced. So that's a step left. Okay, there you so go. You step left. There you go. All right. This guy. And ro rolling one more time. And three again. Uh, second unit is reduced. Is this was this guy already reduced? No. Right? Yeah, he's already I think reduced. He was. Yeah. He was. So yep. reduced the second time. He's destroyed, I believe. Yeah. He's he's put back into the into the um just replacements. Somewhere. Yes, replacements. Yes. Okay. Mm, re yes, exactly. Sorry. <clears throat> so that's a neat a neat feature of it. It kind of it has almost its own intrinsic logistic limits in areas. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. It's a really good test. The Turkish Air Force came through for me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yes, that is the event phase. Uh, supply phase. Checking lines of communications and supply. I have a supply center in Aleppo. Yeah, I don't think you have anybody in problem, do you? No, I do. Just to be... Just to be in the clear here, these uh, units down here are supplied through H5 in Jordan, since I'm supported by them, correct? correct. Otherwise, like these that. are not connected to a supply center. Hold on, let's go look at that. Because if I recall correctly from yeah, my notes... Are... Yeah, let me look at that. <clears throat> Controls Free Syrian and Sunni and Al Sham militia. Let me go look at the supply of Sunni. 
from yeah. Saudi Arabia. Okay. I think you're fine. All right. So you have to go to Al Jaf. Right? Uh. This is the closest. Yeah. Right here. Actually, yeah. You know what? That looks like. Yeah. That looks like it's the right color, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the right color, and in this scenario, I'm supported by Turkey, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia, so I assumed this is where I'm deriving my supplies from. Yes, you are correct. Okay. Just wanted to be sure, mm -hmm. so I have nothing out of supply currently. Correct. Planning phase. Correct. Now you decide how many cards, one or two. You can actually use two. I don't know if I emphasized mm -hmm. that appropriately before. Uh, yes, I am... <laughs> I think I will be expending the truck bombing card for four. Okay. And again, that's another way to get rid of it, right? But in a possible yeah, ex way. Right, exactly. So, all right. How do you want to split that? You want to do two and two, or you can split uh, you, you can do all move. You can do. I will do so. One movement point equates to two units can move, uh, right? Just yeah, checking. Yeah, one op. One op for one op for movement is gives you two two squares to move basically double it. Uh, okay. I will... Yeah, I will do two and two. Okay, so two and two. Uh, so you can move up to four individual units. Move this unit into uh, Idlib. Okay, how many do you got there? You can't stack over three. Yeah, that's uh, three, so I'm maxing out. Okay. Now, then I've let... the one thing, let me let me look at stacking again, because I think you can move... I just wanted to check one thing, because this, this is kind of important, because I think you can... <clears throat> stacking in, including a maximum of one core, this rule reflects the limited capacity. an exception to this <clears throat> I think it's I think it's the international coalition can temporarily overstack to go through a unit um, yeah it's you it's it's based on where you end up so like you can kind of you can move through here to get you know it's just it's where you end up not not okay where you're going through. so so the end result then yes. is I would like to move to here with him, and I would also like to move the rest of the stack as well. But I'm just just doing it one step at a time. Hold on a second. Is that the oh, you're trying to move it there. You can't move it there. That's the enemy. Uh, well, you I'm, don't have to. I, oh, you spend, okay. So oh, I can just attack. You, you Got just it. say what you're going to do at the end. Yeah, exactly. In that. Perfect. Phase. All right. Okay, uh, so now you are in that phase. Yeah. So you had two offensive points. So uh, one yes. And, and here's another thing. You don't have to commit everything in the square. So mm -hmm. if you have three and you know you're going to overpower them, but you don't want, you want to leave somebody there, like, you know, access, access and allies wise, if you will, right? You mm -hmm. want to leave somebody there potentially, you would just say that they're not included in the comment. So you don't have to include all of them, but you probably normally would. Uh, yeah, I'm going to full commit to attacking Lataki. Okay. So how much do we got? We got nine. nine total. Any other positive? Any other? Well, you're not going to call out any. You're not going to call out any a assets yet. But no. You can use them here in a second. So, what do we got here, defense-wise? It's also nine, and there's a minus one underneath it for the intrinsic value of the space. Yeah. And there's no, so, there's yeah. no entrenchment otherwise. Okay. Right, so the, defender that, uh... at, the defender at this time should. Announce any cards to help any assets that might help the combat. Um, no, we're good. Okay, the attacker may play a card or cards. Uh, I have no cards that I'm able okay. to play. All right, and then you move to rolling. What's the, what was the ultimate difference? Uh, minus one. Yeah. So minus one is this column. Yeah. World of Four, which is EX Star. Exchange with heavy losses, the attacker and the defender each lose two steps. If the defender is eliminated, the attacker occupies the space with his surviving units. If not, the attacker withdraws to his original space. Mm. So I take okay. two steps to distribute as I see fit, I imagine. Correct. Oofa. 
That was a good hit. Fun. All right. RPGs flying around. All right. Uh, that was so that was one of my movement points or half of my movement points, and then an attack point. Yeah, you. However many. You have one more offensive left, right? Uh, yeah. I be, yes, I believe so. Uh, I will go ahead and... You can press the attack if you want. It doesn't have to be another unit. That's true. Or, use, or I don't think anything else is connected, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to other game systems where you get one attack per turn. Uh, yeah, it's this, very... The, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more aggregated, so it's a two-month, you know, it's a series of attacks. It's an yeah, offense, that's very interesting. It's an offensive, not, a, not an attack. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to press the attack, especially okay. given uh, the state of Latakia's defenders. So that would be two, four, seven total. Okay, to his three left? Yep. He does get the uh, shift. <laughs> um, so that's... Seven to three, minus one. Yeah. That's plus three. So you're at the plus three, but then you mm -hmm. have to pull it. You have to. You got a column shift, so you're here, yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you? You're I'm going right? to attack. Okay. Uh. It's uh, artillery time. Okay. <laughs> thunk, 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 thunk. So that's minus another two. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's gonna be bad. Uh, okay, so we are down to negative the negative five to seven column shift, or no, we'd be at negative four. I think you're. How much? What of a shift? How much of a shift was it? The card one. It's two column two. shifts. Ooh, you're yep. over here then. Yep. Okay. So yeah, the negative two to negative four. All right, I have no cards to play, so time to roll. Huh. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Six is Defender Retreat. Uh, defender retreats. Defender loses one step from one of his units and withdraws to a friendly controlled adjacent space. Okay, so this is dead. Then the attacker occupies. Correct. I believe. Everybody who took part. So that would be everybody. Yeah. So then what I think happens is if you had any that, if, if any of your units had the, the red movement, I think think at that point you could technically move again. Mm -hmm. Heavy loss is doing that, but uh, here yeah. we are. Here you are. Alright, uh, so yeah, <clears throat> movement, offensives, okay, now strategic you do movement. A strategic move, so, so you, the active player may move a single supplied unit in a friendly controlled space to another friendly controlled and supplied space. Even if this unit has already moved or has fought during combat. Oh, it does say that there. We were I uh, already know which one I would like to move. Okay. I would like to move this unit here okay. to Idlib. Ooh, nice. Uh, if you have contiguous spaces, you can do it. As long as it's all this, supplied. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's is this guy in not way? contiguous. Uh, it's con yeah. Yep, he runs he out in Tartarus. Here. I will opt to not move then. Okay, that's fine too. Yep. All right. So now you adjust your cards. You, the active player draws cards to regain four cards in his hand. Uh, I'm getting rid of this. That's that was the one I played. spent. Yeah. Make yep. sure everybody got rid. Of it. And I can split to as many event or uh, asset cards as I like, right? Yes. I'll draw one event <laughs> and. Here and flip it. Oh, I grabbed the full deck. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Sorry, right. I think you just gotta kind of do it like towards the edge here. here yep, go. that's it. Thank you. So one event and two assets. You want to flip oh, I'm drawing from the right. full deck on that. Hang on. <laughs> My mistake. All right, I'm gonna flip these, right? We're gonna play open still, right? Uh, yeah, I was just drawing them first. All right, and I believe that is my entire turn. Yes. All right. Pass turn. Mm. Okay. All right. So event cards. Am I gonna do any events? 
we're on turn one, so I can't play this one. Oh, interesting. Um, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to play Cyber War on you. I don't know why. Just for fun. Okay. Uh, his opponent... Okay, the active player looks at the cards owned by the, the uh, opponent and discards two of them. <laughs> Shit. Uh, how about I be random on this just to be a little bit less... Do, do what you think is best for, uh, uh, for Iraq. I'm, get, go. I'm going to take one of each. Uh, I'll just do one of each. Okay. Okay. That's real painful. I hate doing that to you, but just showing you. I'm just teaching it's you okay. rules, right? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, do, do what is best for Iraq. <laughs> I don't even know if this is best for Iraq, honestly. Technically, and that probably one. isn't because my en the enemies of my enemies are my enemies, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever, just for fun. All right. Oh, that should go in yeah, this pile. Yeah, if you don't mind putting it over here. Thank you very much. All it's right, okay because then... I was able to keep the two cards I wanted. <laughs> and then you get to roll against me. This is a cool card. You get oh, to, you get to roll the d6 and see if you are able to defend to a certain degree and randomly get rid of one of my cards. Uh, five. You got it. Uh, so you actually are able to get rid of randomly. Why don't you roll a d6 and we'll just randomly do it. Just, just yeah. like re-roll the number. Yeah, sure. One. Uh, okay, so six. Get rid of this one. All right. So, so that's that. That's how cyber mm -hmm. war works. Oh, very cool. I think this is discarded. Could be pretty good if you're. If somebody's really messing with you, which you weren't, but whatever. All right, mm -hmm. that's that. Oh, um, uh, if I if IS wasn't in the way, uh, the Free Syrian Army would have some words for Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> um, hell, we probably have some. The Iraq probably has some folks in it. All right, so <laughs> uh, cool combat engineers. That's gonna be used for later. During the event, this segment of this card allows the active player to place an. Ooh, I'm gonna put some entrenchment out there. Yeah, I saw you got the double combat engineers. And I'm like, it's too bad. Like the Iraqis are mostly gonna be attacking forward. Yeah. How do we get these out? A double draw of that would be excellent for the FS. Um. So I think I will entrench these guys, right? And I'll just entrench these guys, whatever, just randomly. All right, um, so that's interesting. So that's me playing that. I still have... Okay, so that's all my event event planning, I guess. <laughs> it's like planning a wedding. All right, uh, and then I do supply checks. I think this guy, I think the main, the main check is whether this guy is still isolated, right? He's still isolated. Uh, so interestingly enough, this is still not enough to help him too good because the isolation is a negative two on any attacks and it's also a negative two on any defenses. So this <laughs> was pretty vital for me to get that. So uh, they've they've gone underground. All right. Um, Ramadi's still in dire straits though. Yeah, it is. All right. So now we're in planning, and I probably. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, I can do two moves for free. I th think I'm going to... Mm. Ooh, back to... I don't want to attack from back to... Um... I think I'm going to move these guys here. Two movements, and then I'll do the I'll do the supply move maneuver, right? I'm gonna do two movements, and then I get a free op. So as I explained in the beginning, you can you can instead of expending your card for ops, you can op <laughs> to uh, mm -hmm. do the supply a supply depot move, which is what I just did. Okay, so I was mm -hmm. able to move twice and. Um, and I get one op. So I'm going to one op 
this way. My offensive is moving towards getting ISIS out of Ratupaha. Alright, let's flip these guys. See what we got. We got three. So, 8, 9, 10, 10 on 3, 7, any type of defense here, no. So I'm on the plus 4, any uh, any objection to that computation? Uh, no, nope. I think that's great. Right. I think I'm still, it's not that wonderful, it's right here. Um, you know what, I am going to use my combat engineers to shift myself twice. So I'm on this table now, five to seven, and then I'm gonna roll for that. Ooh, I got a six on the five to seven, which is a defender retreats. The defender loses one step and withdraws. In this case, it's only one step, so it's destroyed. Okay, this guy's out of here. He goes back to the pool. Goes plays in the pool with his friends. All right, and then we take over Arutaba. This entrenchment stays, by the way. These, yeah, if, if there are entrenchments built, they stay. <laughs> I don't know if there are any car. I don't know if there are any cards that can get rid of entrenchments. I, I just don't know. I haven't run into one, but I think that's the only way potentially. All right, so that's that. That was my one op, and I had <laughs> used my card, so I had so. I'm, done with that, that's all that, and then I get one strategic move, which I might pull, I'm getting, I'm in a weird position here, let me, hmm, I'm in control of this Hezbollah, right? Yeah, that's the Iranian. Let me look at that strategic move, just one second, I'm trying to think. Alright, I'll just do this. I'm going to move contiguously here, through Baghdad, through Samara, through Tikrit. I'm trying to attack these guys from both sides here. Alright, whatever. Whatever that's good or not, I don't know. Alright, so next up, we are... I adjust my cards back up. I think I will do two and two. And I get rid of this other guy that I use. Flip that, put it over into the. Here we go. Y'all want to try to at least get through one more turn? No, oh, I'm good yeah. to keep going. Yeah, I'm good still. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Alright, so go for it. Um, okay, so it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, you didn't have any replacements from last turn, so you're not going to put those on board. Um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, you play one, several, or no cards. Okay. Uh, uh, events, event cards, that is. Alright, so I'm going to play the airstrikes card. Okay. I'm going to play it on um, uh, Hammerhawk right there. Okay. Uh, so um, I'll go. Here, let's do left to right. I'll do just, yeah, okay. Doesn't matter, they're all the same, really, I yeah, think. Right. Uh, so, no, this one has higher attack. So we're going to go left to right, go for it. Alright. Three. three. Is nothing? Oh, no, th I believe three is a reduction. Okay, so yeah. this guy's reduced. Alright. One's destroyed. Alright, that would be this one. Yeah, I put it back in your pool. So you take a big... Oh, uh, this would uh, be the pool, right? I think so. Not into reinforcements, into the replacements. Up here. And the last one, three, another reduction. 
That one is for one. pretty good airstrike. Uh, make sure you put in this oh, one. Oh, yep. That's the wrong hex. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Um, I'm also going to play my Joker card right now. So, um... You just pull two of whichever... You pull two of whatever type. You okay. might... I, mean, I don't know if you might want... I mean, I don't want to help you too much. Yeah, I mean, you might want assets, right? I don't know. It depends on when you, if you want to play them now or not. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> the reinforcements work for me. Mm, that's a good card. Um, that's a very good card because you're gonna get your you're gonna get your batch one reinforcements that next turn. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a and then, very uh, good card to get. <laughs> Just why I, was, I really wanted to hold on to mine when I got cyber warfare. Yeah. So um, for... <laughs> oh, uh, even the one I kind of annihilated. <laughs> or no. <laughs> yeah, you almost you almost got that one. <laughs> I'm also playing terrorist campaign, so um, well, let's see. While you concentrate your opponent, so how how do I declare this? Like, um, is oh it played during mine? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a great yeah, yeah, it's card. brutal. Oh. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> oh my god, I, I haven't seen that card before. You can only you playing that oh. on. Let me guess. <laughs> well, well, I mean, like. For you, it wouldn't matter because you're going to be only attacking IS anyways. So um, it's on Jacob. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. That just makes so sense. So turn two, I can only attack IS. Got it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll just put this to the side so like we remember. I'll put the airstrikes away. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll put it in my planning. Or it's planning now. And who's Dayash? Dayash is IS. Okay, so. So now you're, uh, you're planning. Yep. So I'm going to play this for the ops points. Um, six. Mm. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 Now, how do you want to spread that out? You can arrange that however. Uh, you want. And that's what I, I need to. I might need to come up with my own markers for that. Just for. I mean, well, maybe um, you have better memory than I do, but I, I didn't think I'd forget. The um, there's objects in TTS. It's the um, counter object. I tend to yeah, use it a lot. That. Let's do that. Hold on a second. Yeah, right. like the go marker is what I usually use. Uh, let's just take some get some white go markers for ops. Let's, white is movement. Black is combat. Sure, something like that. But there, there's a uh, digital. Counter marker. It's like a, a button pressing thing, but this you are work. correct. And I could bring one of those out. Let's do that. Is that under custom, I think. Yeah. Nope. Uh, it's under miscellaneous. I think it's this one that's it's. Yeah, I think it's miss. It's by the calculators. I think. So I will say black is movement, red is attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Right. So I am going to spend I'm going to spend re on movement. Okay. Re on attack. Yeah. Okay. We'll just use these goes. So these are fine. You got three and three right here. You're good. Whichever, however you want to do it. Okay. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to take. Except for your moves, you actually can move six pieces, basically. Yep. So I'm going to take these two. Oops. These two, and this bullet can stay. Uh, let me see. Hezbollah I can get these. Like, unit. 
<laughs> the snappers not wanting to help right now, but right. it'll be fun. It's, it's, it's helpful when it is, and it's not when it's not. Uh... Exactly. Uh, the next one is I'm going to move the Republican Guard in the 4th Division into Homs. Actually, hold on. I actually want four movement, two ops. I, I got the memory, so I use two movement on the moving this, two movement for the Republican Guard. Uh, I'll use two movement to move the stuff in TARDIS. And these will go into Verbasen for now. They should be able to move there. One, two, three, four, yeah. One, two, three, yeah, perfect. Right. And then the stuff from Almira are going to shift over. Move over. over to here. So I'll still have two attacks left. Okay, yeah, it looks like you have enough movement to do that. Yep. Okay, so now you have two points yep. for, so you can do two offensives. Um, mm -hmm. So your first offensive is. Uh, the first offensive is like um, Assad's fist slamming into. Uh, <laughs> is that the move? Is that the name of the move? <laughs> That's the rehearsed move. Assad's fist. Uh, we, uh, Jacob and I have like a running gag when we play war games. It's just whichever dictator's fist and then that's like the the major attack uh, yeah we've uh we've played quite a few matches of next war korea and oh, okay and, uh <laughs> we we have kim jong-un's fist whenever you have uh north korea's strongest units just punching through a weak point do you know that game pretty well i wouldn't mind playing that sometime if they, i think they have a virtual oh it's fantastic um johan and i uh also are uh in the testers pool for uh the next one. Oh, pretty good all right, I, I know somebody now. I know somebody to pick their brain for because I haven't, I haven't been able to play. I want. I've been wanting to play the Taiwan one. Is that a... Oh, Taiwan's fun, but uh, it, it can take a while to run. But I think it's worth playing. Hmm. Let me start doing the math. So I have seventeen. Jacob has two. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, it's okay because I have a surprise tool that will help me later. Uh. Okay. <laughs> It's called the Turkish Air Force. Have you heard of it? Uh, Nobody's 17 seen it. minus oh, we've heard two. Of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry to any Turks. You're fine. To, to make sure that this is indeed level. Um, well, actually, no. You get the point first. But yeah, so 15 minus, er, 17 minus 2 is 15. I think that one had a minus 1 on it. Uh, Are all correctly? How yeah. About those, yeah. So that's going to be fourteen. Mm, it's a shift, not a, not a number. Yeah. So fourteen. Oh, it's a shift. You, you, uh, you get your, you get your, um, you get your final difference, and then you look for shifts, and those are yep. column shifts, not number shifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think they mark it uh, on the terrain as a minus like that because like you're only going to give it to the defender anyways, and minus is good for them. And like right. the, in the differential, and that's a mm, no, that's a column shift. Okay, right, right here, see that right here says a space's intrinsic defense value one or two column shifts to the left in favor of ah, uh, okay, right. uh, column shift. Got it. Yeah, we might not have done so that. So these okay. cards, but it's all right. Yeah, mm. the, so these cards are all that more consequential then. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not. Right, are we? Like this one right here is incredible. The close air support one, is yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah. So are we? Uh, are we prepared to declare cards for defender, uh, Johan? Okay. So we are at uh, fifteen right now. Fifteen is on the second to rightmost. Yep. And then. And then you're gonna column shift. Column sh and then column shift for the terrain. Column and shift then, for the terrain is down to 11 correct. to 13. And then the air correct. force. The yeah, close air then close air support, it. column shifts through to the left. Right here, you're on this one right and here. And then this. the artillery brings it. No, I thought it'd be here because it's a shift of three. Oh, you're right, favorite. three, but then the he's saying he's got artillery? Yep, yep. And so that would take it up to 
eight to ten then, here. I believe. <laughs> this is a nice this is an interesting combined arms battle here. Very good. We're, we're well, again, part of my commander's intent is uh, to attrit the uh, SAA as much as possible. So if I can, uh, if I can knock down uh, his force, even if I lose the battle, I'd call that a win. Yeah, uh, I trust in uh, Assad's finest troops. Uh, <laughs> I trust in the Turkish okay. Air Force. Okay. Uh, so Never yeah. trust the Tiger Battalion, guys. <laughs> How's it going? Howdy. What's up, Nick? Uh, well, thanks, uh, Peter, for running this. This is this looks awesome. Sorry, I couldn't step in. Just got back from work. Yeah, you came in at a good time. I think we finally got it. I think we finally hit the groove on it. It always takes a turn or two. Mm -hmm. There's a there is a lot of overlap here uh, in uh, with Next War, which is a system uh, Johan and I are familiar with. So I think we picked up quick because of that. Yeah, what I That's like good. about this, what I like about this, it's got it's got a good amount of you know nostalgic CRT ness to it, right? Um, but it's a little simpler. I like how it just did. The, the, I like how it just did the differences, and then I like how the cards directly affect calm shifts mostly. Mm -hmm. and it's it's got kind of a really good balance to it. I think it's a little bit, a lot of old, and a and a good and, a, and good enough amount of new. I think. And well, I that's think, good. I think its simplicity, of course, is a quality too. Honestly. Yeah, I, I didn't want to interrupt too much, but uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for running this. I'll just be here for a little bit, watching you guys play. It's being taped. Uh, have so it kind of watch back the other side. Uh, okay. Are you ready to roll, Johan? Yeah, it's going to end up on the eight to ten. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, do we trust the dice tower? Uh, well, not uh, using it last time didn't go well for you. So... Hmm. Ah, that'll work. Yeah, so that would be a defender retreat. With a one step, one with step loss. No, no, with heavy losses, that's the asterisk one. Uh, oh, wait, wait. No, I just 8 to 10. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. One step loss. Okay. Yeah, so, one step loss. They're both the tritted. I'll just have this one away to the replacements, and this one will retreat to Idlib. Okay, these guys move up. If you have any, and uh, then, another thing is his armored units can exploit the breakthrough by occupying an adjacent space free of enemy units if you wanted to exploit it. But I don't know uh, if you have any... There's no free spaces anyways. I mean, you could move over here if you really wanted to, but it's not really going to help you. <clears throat> okay, let's see then. Um... Something to keep in mind when you're defending against... Mm -hmm. heavy Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to use this again. And we're going on the offensive again. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's this. That's the cool thing about this rule set too, is yeah. you can commit as many offenses as you can within. Two oh, minutes. the multi attack oh, yeah. is something very interesting. I, I like. think it's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so just in case, I I'm going to send the, the Republican Guard division and the Fourth Divisions. So that's fourteen. I'll, I'll leave the Hezbollah unit behind. And what's really cool about that rule is, like, you have control over it, too, as far as how many ops you put towards it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So it's 14 against, <laughs> against one, so that's uh, 13 plus differential. Okay. And then, um, is there a column shift here? Not intrinsically. No, there's no. not? No. And then, do you have any cards to play? Uh, I do not. Though I actually, uh, though it's not my turn in the phase, uh, I could play the Turkey Joker card at any time, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, sorry, was that a yes or a no? Yes. Uh, I'm going to play that now. Playing the Joker. That's a good move, I think. <clears throat> and you can. So take I'll grab. The yeah, you probably want assets over. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. That's the <laughs> wrong deck. <laughs> The Syrian Air Force is currently asleep, so this one doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, what what year is the scenario set in? Uh, 2014 to 2015? Uh, the Syrian Air Force barely exists at this point. Well, I'll pull that to your men who just got blown up by it. <laughs> uh, it's okay, they have a couple of uh, MiG-21s and SU-22s lying around. Uh, I will... Yeah. 
Air Spear already won't help me this turn. Uh, I will play the IEDs card. Okay. Let's so see. two column shifts, defense only on the column shift table for all offensive uh, offensive targeting the selected space this turn. Uh, place an IED marker in the box. So that uh, I need an IED marker for it. I don't even know if there is one here, but you can um, take, a, take a go marker if you want. Uh, yeah, IED works. markers right here. ID. Oh, pretty good. And that's two column shifts in your favor. Whatever. Yeah. So, th thank you so much, though. When when I take this uh, <laughs> when I take this province, um, I will get the IEDs now. In your so, face. Um, <laughs> we've commandeered your IEDs. <laughs> They're ours now. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Thirteen shifted two. So it's gonna be in this one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I don't have anything to play, so I'll just take my roll. Five, you're very dead. Uh, okay, uh, five on, sorry, what column was that? So we were on the 13 originally, so we're at the five to seven, so your defender would breathe. Uh, that's just dead. Yep, all right. Uh, take that, and that will go into Marty, my replacement. Through if you can, if you want. But... Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing to do, yeah. Okay, so that's both of my offensives done. And now I get um, to strategically read a poison units, I think. Uh, let me see. As long as they're friendly controlled and in supply, you're able to move from anywhere to anywhere. Yep, so I'm not right here. We'll get some reinforcements. One. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, that, that'll wait. Give me a second. So, just some clarification. This is going to be isolated because um, it has the supply marker, but it's the wrong color. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Where, but he, this is free right here, so does that. Uh, well, yeah. are we allowed to, like, trace around? Yeah, yeah, there's no zone of control. Oh, so we can move through all this stuff, right? Or, like, like Lebanon is good. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah, if there's nobody there, you're basically taking control of it. Okay, cool. And then if it's friendly, you can go through it. But if it's not friendly, you obviously can't go through it. Um, but this, you can still, this this unit here can still trace supply through any contiguous unoccupied. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, so you're questioning I, I was... it's still control. Like... I think it's actually still controlled by the enemy. If they were la if the enemy was last there, then yes, they still have control over it. Let me. But no one was there. <laughs> I don't think they were controlled spaces. Here we go. Except when its ownership is disputed during an offensive, a space is controlled by a single player only. A space without any units is controlled by the last player to move move through it. There you go. By definition. Well. The... Go ahead. My question is. Are th is this in play? Because we don't have any Turkish units to play with. So I'm questioning if this is in play or not. Uh, in the scenario, that's a very good question. Because and I think it is, but let's go look. Because realistically, the Turkish army isn't just going to let the Syrians the or probably the FSA take a detour. Here it is. Uh, play is restricted to Syria and Iraq, and players may not enter any other country. Okay, so we can't go to Lebanon either. I should have, sorry, I should have highlighted that better. Oh, no, right. <clears throat> we haven't violated that yet, so. So what I think we'll do is we'll probably finish, we'll probably finish your, your turn, and then we'll kind of probably call it. I'd be willing to pick this up at another time. If yeah, I, can save save it. Well. I can save it, yeah, because there's a whole bunch of stuff that could happen down here, potentially. Hmm. Yeah, I could easily run it. This will work, so I'll let Jacob have his turn. That's it. Uh, right. My turn? Yep. Right, Go so fight ISIS. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's right. right. I, for I forgot, I forgot about, about that card. These tur these phases take so long. Uh, yeah, I can't... Uh... <laughs> you can't do what you were just thinking about doing. Yeah, oh, I that can't. That sucks. That's uh, okay. This, this IEDs is spent, right? Uh, well, that's... Uh, the, the card is, but I believe the token is permanent. I'm not sure how that works. 
Let me let me put yeah, this away. Right. <laughs> you, you've just fortified it live for me. Thank you very much. Well, what is does it does it go away when it's used for the first time though? Did a card? Make well, it it well it's, arguably it was used because the effect of the card is the column shift uh, in the defender's see. favor. Yeah. I th so it's been oh, okay. used. So me, I think it might go away. It says for the entire turn. So. Okay. It, so it's the, a two-column shift for all offensives targeting selected space this turn. So, okay. so, so at the end of your turn, Peter, that uh, token would go. Okay. All right. uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> all right. So I think I have only one obvious move here, and that's to play reinforcements for my event. Well, okay. Uh, uh, uh I dr first batch. Um, let's look at. Well, I doing. can. It says I can call in either my first batch, one eliminated unit for my force pool, force pool, or uh, repair two units uh, that have been reduced. There you go. You I think I'm going to call in my first reinforcement uh, group. Which is this group. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. That's, yeah. Those two. Yeah, the FSA and the Alsham unit here. Where would they come in? That's a good point, and I think it's your. Well, first of all, they don't. Unfortunately, they don't come in until the beginning of the next turn. Right. I just want to know where I need to place them. For now, place them at like the most, like a, a mat, the furthest supply area. Let me see if there's a replacement. Let me see if there's mentions. Yeah, place it there for now. I will get an answer to that after the match here. We're okay. of continuing. But yeah, that's the thing. You're basically calling up your reinforcements, but you don't get them until the event card of the next. It's gonna be the event stage of the next one. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, supply phase. Uh, these are still technically in supply because Idlib is not yet occupied. I believe. Um, uh, Idlib is definitely occupied. Oh, then you need to move those units in there. Oh, there, there it is. Can see them. So yeah, then uh, the Latakia garrison appears to be out of supply. Had had the enemy been in this space? That is uh, Turkish territory. Yeah. Uh, also, the um, I'm looking at the rules for reinforcements and replacements. Uh -huh. um, it says the Sunni and Al-Sham militias may arrive in any space controlled by the Turkish or Saudi players in Syria. So I think Jacob's technically the Turks, even though he's... Uh, yeah. that, that is true, and I was about to bring that up. I do have the supply center in Inserlik and Afsin, so Latakia should still be supplied for me then. Well, yeah, but uh, was, do we know was any were any enemy units here? Uh, nothing has passed through Iskandarum. Then you own it. Then you then you're fine here. Yeah. Okay. I will also though these though these don't come into effect. I'll have them in uh, Gazantiep. Uh, and just you know, make a mental note that I don't get those until the end of this. Yep, I kind of don't. Now, what about replacement? Let me look at replacement just to see if that's immediate, or does that also mm -hmm. wait? Let me, let me look at the event thing. Oh, yes. Uh, he places the reinforcement and any replacements on the map. Hmm. That's an interesting rule doesn't happen until the next it makes sense of course logistically you got to get everybody you got to bring it up right it takes a while so, to get your guys up yeah this is an interesting one though because it says explicitly players restricted to syria and iraq and players may not enter any other country not even lebanon so like is the reinforcements counting as entering it's a good question yeah i would say so But this is Turkey, is it not? Am I misreading that? I mean, this is so he's so, using the Turkish force pull, but he's not actually the Turks. It's like a weird situation. Well, right, but let's so look maybe scenario. it might give me, be. Give me one second. The scenario play is restricted. Oh, so maybe they, when these units come in, they drive across the border in a friendly territory into a friendly territory I control. I think that's. That would be it. So you would be going into like Latakia is the yeah, only area probably. in the north. 
if you can, but if it's a stacking issue, then you probably gotta go somewhere else or wait or something. I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 would probably rule, I would probably rule that you can bring it as a reinforcement, but you'd have to wait until you can get on. Mm -hmm. If that's your intended, like, cause if that's in your, your intended supply zone, I, I don't know. We might be in kind of like a GM situation <laughs> there. To... This this might be worth checking out in Board Game Geek if there's a uh, if there's a post board, about yeah. this. Rata, rata, rata. Okay. But yeah. Uh, right. right. Anything we'll just leave that there for now. Uh, no, I will not be playing any cards for planning. I will conduct no attack. Uh, no attacks this turn. Okay, so you're up to uh, replacing your hand. Yeah. Okay. But I, I asked to attack you. you like, well? he... What was that? I'm sorry. I was about to make a joke. I asked to attack you. You're going to let it go in. I <laughs> uh, we we are weighing our strategic priorities. So and while we you're have actually, not... you're actually committing committing propaganda against him after you forced him. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, oh, oh you uh you you should see uh you should see some of the matches of uh other digital war games that johan and i play Cut for like next I, war is that is that is that like marines rules uh we we don't ball? uh we don't engage in psychological operations in next war but are you familiar with the game uh defcon yes uh we uh we engage in heavy psychological operations in defcon <laughs> nice but yeah, I will just uh, rectify my hand. Okay. Oh, um, perfect. I... Oh, shoot. I forgot to draw my hand last time. Whoops. No oh, biggie, yeah. though. Go ahead and do that, yeah. All right, and uh, kinda... that's the end of my turn. Just to round it out, I guess I'll go ahead and do the play for these guys. Um, let's see the events for... Hmm. Is it James Bond card? This one, which one? Which one? I'll just put this. Oh. I'll just put this here for all this. <laughs> Strikes on <an> ass. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna play Strikes on IS. Select the space occupied by IS and roll one for every unit present. Uh, it is it is affected by the modifier. Oh. Is there most... Ooh, I remember when the event depicted in this card happened. <laughs> um, huh. I'm going to attack Mosul. What the hell? Uh, uh, Mosul looks pretty strong. Right, I'm going to... Ooh, he's neg two. So there's... I have to get a six. Should I do that? Nah, that's probably not as good. Um... Maybe I'll clear out Fallujah. Alright, let's do that. Uh, I will strike... Is there only one there? Oh, no, there's a couple. That's all. Ah, there's two there, right? Uh, yeah. There's two. There's actually three. Man. <laughs> it's, it's like infested. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to attack that one. There is no intrinsic. Right? Oh, there's one. Alright, that's fine. So it affects my dice by one. So first, uh, first unit will do this one right there. D D D D. What do I got? Yeah, that didn't do crap. All right. So the second one, uh, four minus one. Got it. Unit destroyed. This guy's out. And then the last one. That doesn't do anything. That's down to two. Okay. Uh, not wonderful. Oh well. That's that. Okay. Anything else? Do I want to do the border incident? Turkish aviation shoots down a Russian fighter bomber on the Turkish border. NATO deploys Patriot. Plus one. Have you been using the international attention track at all? Well, nothing's happened against it. I think okay. uh, I think the tension track only moves when specifically indicated. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. What the hell? 
Screw it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Just bring that up. <laughs> just I, I like to screw with the whole game. Just just the, just the training facility. All right. Um, all right. A true agent of chaos. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. there you go. That's basically what a rock is. All Trying right. to accelerate that uh that intervention. Yeah, I probably, I was... I'm probably like screwing myself in that regard. But um. I just, I just wanted to point this out. <laughs> uh, the active player oh, wow. sends his best special agent to kill a local enemy <laughs> commander. Three columns shifts attack or defense on the combat resolution table. Did you get that one? Yeah, I got that one. Would you also get our humanitarian corridor? Yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to play this for, let me see, how many ops do I want here? Blah, blah, blah. I actually like these, but I want to keep them. All right, I'm going to just use the the supply rule. I'm going to. I will move up another armored division, and then we will attack. All right, what do we got? We're definitely going to take it. Uh, you know what? I don't even. I might not even attack with everybody. Oop! I can't do that. All right. Um. Yeah, let's do that, and then I'll just use strategic movement. So, for attacks, we got seven, we got 15. What do these guys got? Ooh. Volusia is pretty well defended, as predicted. Okay, let's take a shot at that. Photo op. All right, so. Five, we are plus 10. Is there any? Yeah, there's neg one shift. Um, anything else? Can I Sam Umbrella? Also, Johan, it's uh, it's the greatest, uh, it's the bane of my existence when playing Combat Mission Shock Force. Guarding Felucia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, I don't think there's any other shifts. So we're on the 10 table, and there's a neg 1 shift, so we're here. Just keep me honest, I'm on the plus 5 to plus 7. Let's do that real quick. And I think... Alright, I got a 5. Not too bad. So that's a, def a DR. So they lose a step and they withdraw to a friendly control. So one of these is flipped. And they have to... Uh, I don't think they can... I think they're... Yeah, that's kind of weird. What do we do? I, I think, think they just they, annihilated it. I think they. I think they're allowed to go one more. Let, let's let's look at that. Let's look at that. <laughs> the attacker gains control of the space and occupies it. Uh, his armored units can exploit it. Blah blah blah. Retreats. Oh. I uh, Please look defending at that. units forced to retreat must withdraw into a controlled adjacent space. They cannot retreat into an uncontrolled space unless the space is free. Retreating units must conform to stacking limits at the end of their movement. If the only adjacent space available means breaking the sta stacking rules, the retreating units are moved to the nearest connected. If a unit is unable to retreat, in particular because it is surrounded by enemy units, it is eliminated. Wow. Okay, well that was a good move. They're all gone. Yeah. yeah. All right, makes some sense. I also, I don't know how that's handled within the rules because the IS tokens only have one. Uh, they only have one step loss, so if they take a step loss, they might just die. There's a couple of units like that in Next War where uh, they just die if they uh, take a hit like that. 
so this guy is no longer isolated, right? But we, but he won't be unisolated until someone walks into him. Actually goes in there. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I just noticed uh, that uh, Peter has the uh, the well equipped uh, Abrams division that the uh, the Iraqis had. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think that's it, other than bringing my hand up. Uh, so I get two more. I think I will pull. I'm gonna pull one event. And I'm gonna pull one asset. Ooh. Nice. It's kind of Ooh, powerful card. More variety there. I want to kind of get rid of these. These are good, but they're very specific. Like if I was, uh, if I was Johansky, I'd probably get that against your Turkish, Turkish fist or whatever. Uh, uh the Turkish Air Force. Oh, that's. <laughs> well, that's that's how I've been explaining how uh, the Free Syrian Army has all these airstrike cards when they don't have an airstrike, uh, yeah. or sorry, when they don't have an air force. Yeah. I think that's it for that turn. Whole turn. Yep. Let me um, just toss the ID marker. Yep. And let me save game if you the uh, fall of Aleppo will have to wait for another day then mm -hmm. James Bond goes in to like assassinate random like rebel commander and then just the city just collapses <laughs> so pretty pretty darn good um I want to read up a little bit more on potential other support um, because I th think technically Syria has Russia as a potential. I think that's only for after the international tension gets gets to the five. Mm -hmm. You still there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, it kind of froze up. Um, so I'm gonna we, because this track is going up and we're almost to the tension card. And there's also the potential of U.S. and Russian military intervention coming in if it goes all the way to 10. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what benefit there is for me to force that or, or anybody to force it or force it go. But we'll see. Well, I imagine that the, the Iraqis probably get more benefit from uh, outside intervention than we do, considering that you're supported by the U.S. coalition. Yeah. Uh, and also most of the focus would be on Syria. Right. So you could kind of exploit that to depower us, or at least keep us occupied long enough for you to achieve your victory conditions. Correct. Which, if I remember, is pretty significant as far as how many I need to control. So I do mm -hmm. need to get ISIS out of the uh, the north here, though. So that's, mm -hmm. this is, it's a really good game, I think. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. Um, there's a lot to it, but there's not. It's, it's easy, easy going is the way I put it. It's not beer and pretzel level either. It's just it's got just enough detail. It's really good, I think. Oh yeah, there's a couple of things I want to look up clarifications on, particularly this reinforcement uh, scenario we've got going on here uh, for when we pick this up. Oh, it's just as far as where they can come in? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah feel free to make a note in, on the Discord if you want. Will do. It. All right, Joe. That was fun. Yeah, thanks so much yeah, thank for you, Peter. I enjoyed this. All right, Joe. Have a good one. Have a good one.